A manager of a Delhi Township vape shop will spend eight to nine years in prison for a burglary turned shooting. Tony Thacker maintains he acted in self-defense after a group of people broke into the store. WCPO 9 News anchor Brett Pagansky has more on the man's plea to a judge before he was handed his sentence. This was something that was brought to me. I never asked for this. All I wanted to do was work and live my life. Tony Thacker wanted a lighter sentence from a judge Monday after a jury convicted him this month for felonious assault. A case that started as a burglary at the VIP smoke shop in Delhi, a place where Thacker also lived in the back. A group broke in last October while Thacker and his girlfriend were sleeping. Thacker fired shots, which killed 16-year-old Travis Johnson. At the time, I did what I thought I had to do to protect myself and my girlfriend. I never wanted to hurt anybody. This is something I live with every day and I will continue to live with every day. Thacker was never charged for Johnson's death, but a jury convicted him for continuing to shoot at the burglary suspects, which left one of them hurt. All of the people that were inside the store were already outside of the store at that time, and they were driving him away. The Hamilton County Prosecutor's Office wanted to give Thacker 22 years in prison, the maximum penalty. Assistant Prosecutor Mary Polston argued against self-defense, saying Thacker was no longer in danger once the burglary suspects retreated. Doesn't make sense to me, so my, my concern is the verdict is inconsistent. The jury apparently found he acted in self-defense and they were not able to disprove it on two other victims. All this happened at the same time, literally within seconds. Thacker's attorney Richard Goldberg pleaded with the judge to also consider Thacker's state of mind. He said not only was Thacker shot at in the store a month prior, but had also been stabbed in his home. There's only one person who was in his shoes that night. Of course, it was Tony Thacker, and no members of the jury or anybody here in the courtroom uh, could put themselves in his shoes. Judge Wendy Cross sentenced Thacker to eight to nine years in prison. Thacker's attorney told me they plan on appealing the case, which they maintain is all about self-defense. We reached out to the Hamilton County Prosecutor's Office, but they didn't have a comment. Outside the Hamilton County Courthouse, Brett Paganski, WCPO 9 News.